back. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today is Tuesday, February 8th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Congratulations to Svetlana Caldoza, who has been selected to receive a $25 gift card to a store or restaurant of their choosing. You'll be contacted at some point this week so you can let us know which gift card you want. If you want an opportunity to earn a gift card, all you have to do is have no tardies for the week. Six gift cards will be given out to students from the class with the least number of total tardies for Term 3. The seniors are currently winning. This week is National School Counseling Week. Be sure to write an encouraging note to your counselor to show how much you appreciate them. Now let's pass on over to Dylan and Josiah for your sports update. What's crack-a-lackin' Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Let's get into your sports update. Now let's kick off sports with the men's soccer senior night. on a great season guys make sure to stop by the men's basketball game this friday against franklin we will only be selling pre-sale tickets so no tickets will be sold at the game tickets will go on sale wednesday february 9th through friday february 11th they'll be sold in hd5 during both lunches and after school adult tickets are seven dollars and for seniors and students the tickets are five dollars good job of the girls basketball team on beating el girl 59 to 22 good lord y'all smoked them track season has officially started so if you're interested in sprinting distance running throwing, then come by after school and talk to a coach. All athletes must have to be cleared on athleticclearance.com and must see Mr. Smith with a completed physical form if you wish to practice. Now we got something very exciting for y'all, the first live interview on Wolfpack TV. Let's welcome Jordan Davis and J-Rock. Okay, so how do y'all feel that the season is going so far? Uh, the season's been pretty good. You know, there's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, but we're coming together and making a late playoff push. I see, I see, I see. You're on the next one. Go ahead. Well, then, how do you feel that you guys can improve on the season? Uh, we can improve on the season more by uh, probably bonding more as a team uh, outside of school and probably talking more on the court. I got you. What is your favorite moment of the entire season, both of y'all? Um, I have two. One of my favorite moments would happen in the same game was where I threw an alley-oop to Elias Weathers, and he dunked on another player. And then after that, I hit a game-winning shot to beat Jesuit. So that was a great, that was a great two moments. Uh, my favorite moment is probably when uh, me and Henry Hill held the big man on Jesuit to six points, I think it was. And we also won the game, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. All right, do you have any plans to play ball after high school? Uh, probably going to, after high school, probably going to attend uh, CRC for two years, probably play some basketball, and then go to uh, Sac State or SF State. Uh, I plan to keep on working hard and uh, chase my dreams to get a Division One scholarship, play basketball, Division One. I. I got you. Y'all got any like shout outs to your friends, teammates, and other uh, Shout like out Deontay Carter, uh, Roy Castillo, the whole team, and Creek Mop. You got it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Well, thank you guys very much for coming on the show, and good luck to the rest of the year. Emily Co had a stellar performance last week and needs your vote on SACB's website. Vote 
for her as Zach B's Player of the Week. And next week, we're going to interview her live on the show. Now, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Link Crew is selling Valentine's Grams at lunch every day this week for $3. Grams will be delivered to first period classes this Friday. Student Equity Council and Vietnamese Student Association are selling red envelope grams in honor of Lunar New Year this week. You can stop by their stand across from the leadership room to purchase a gram. Purchases with green, red, or gold tickets can be redeemed for an additional prize, including a jackpot opportunity. Hope to see you there. Hype's annual showcase, Night the Movies, hits the stage February 18th and 19th at 7 p.m. in the PAC. Night the Movies showcases student choreography in various styles, from hip-hop to contemporary and jazz. Scan the QR code shown to purchase pre-sale tickets. Premium seats are $12 and general admission seats are $10. Get your tickets fast because pre-sale tickets Tickets will end at 4 p.m. on February 18th. Only a limited number of tickets will be available at the door for $15. Now let's pass on over to BSU for more fun facts about Black History Month. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Hanan Canada. And I'm Tinsley Brahanu. And today's Black History Month fun fact is that Amanda Gorman is an American poet and activist. Her work focuses on issues of uh, um, oppression, feminism, race, and marginalization, as well as the African diaspora. Gorman was the first person to be named National Youth Poet Laureate. She published the poetry book The One for Whom Food is Not Enough in 2015 and gained international fame when she read her poem The Hill We Climb at the 2021 inauguration for the U.S. President Joe Biden. All right, see you tomorrow, Wolfpack. Bye. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Zabula. And I'm Gabby Bombalon. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Kite Flying Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.